How is it going fellas? Today I want to show you guys how to combine left stick with skill moves. I'm doing this because somebody mentioned it in a comment and he wanted to know. He was struggling with uh, combining it with the skill moves. He ends up going back to the dribbling, just the regular left stick dribbling. And uh, I think I'll, I'll have some scenarios where I'll show you guys when I feel it's right to use them. Or um, Honestly, like usually I use them when I'm stuck. If I feel like I have no space, like a skill move will sometimes open it up. Or sometimes I just left stick, like I'll left stick and I know I got him on the turn and then I'll do the skill move to even get a better option. So yeah, first I'll show you guys some scenarios and uh, let's go. Guys, let's talk about this clip right here that I was doing. So this is one way that you can combine left stick and uh, skill moves. So let's say I'm right here controlling the ball, Maradona, bad one right here, but right here, fake him, boom. That was the left stick, all oh, left stick, fake them and I saw him coming in. And instead of going with like the left stick, like I usually do, going to right and then going to left, instead you can use a skill move that pretty much fakes the way you're gonna go anyway. You know what I mean? If you're gonna fake to the right, this skill move does it already. So boom, there you go. I got away with it. All right, first I'm gonna play this clip and then I'll explain it. Had the ball here with Maradona, body faint. Left stick, boom, shot, ball. And this guy was tough as well. But let's, exp let's talk to it now. So, I also like to use a left stick with body feints. So let's say if you body faint to the left, if you see any reaction from the player, you can then decide where you want a left stick, you know? Or you can do a body faint, left stick a direction. And if he falls for that, then you can, you know, if he doesn't fall for the body faint, but he falls for the next move, which is a left stick, the direction you go. Then you can, you know, pull them with the other direction. That's it. So right here, body faint, boom. Took the space anyway, even if you didn't fall for it. Like I had the space there, so. Yeah, and I knew that when he overcommitted right here, where is it, right there? I knew that if I stopped like that, he was literally gonna buy it because he was on panic mode right there. So yeah, I just went for the shot and it was a beauty. That was a really good fake. I like, I, I love it when they really fall for it like this. I love it. it feels good but yeah next clip hey guys for this clip i'm going to show you how you can use ball rolls to, to set people up and to use a left stick to then go the direction you want because ball rolls sometimes make people just pressure you for some odd reason so yeah had the ball here with uh Ansu Fati. did that move that was pretty nice right here ball rolled and boom set him up and just go in the inside and right there where he fouled me i was honestly trying to go for the mag like Cause I saw that, I was like, I figured like he's gonna take his, take hold, take control of his player right there. So I was like, I'm gonna see if I can pull it off. So boom, right there, right timing and everything. But you know, he didn't even control the player. It was just a bot, and yeah, I got fouled. But yeah, let's talk about the setup though. So right there, I did the regular skill move right there, right here. Did, this is where I set him up right here. I did a borrow to the left, right? Most people think when you do a borrow, then you're gonna go straight. So he kind of, he he kind of like thought the same thing, and and there you go. He gave me the, gave me the pen. But yeah, faked it. Boom, went inside. Whatever. You know. I even I usually could have just went straight and shot. By the way, but that's a good way to use it with bar rolls, guys. It's it's good for a setup, and I got more examples also, guys. For this clip, I want to show you how you can bar roll away from the pressure, like away. With tackles, like they're tackling you, you ball roll this way, you know, like away, and it works really well to maintain the possession and just make it look way more tricky. So, this is how it looks. Bar roll away, bar roll away, you know. I'm doing very, I'm doing extra because I just want to put examples, you know, but yeah. So, let's get to uh, let's explain it. I had the ball here, messy doing a left stick, and right here is where. I think I borrowed because I want to get away from his tackle. Boom. Right here as well. Right here as well. Just in case he tackled me. Turn this way. It's getting close. Borrowed away. You know what I mean? Boom. And it works really well. Like right here, I should have done it. I'm just, you know, doing extra. But yeah. Borrowing away from the pressure is solid, bro. It, have, it works a lot too when you're, let's say they throw, they throw a long ball. And you gotta go catch it, and then you you pretty much one v one against the the defender who's gonna get the ball first, 
or in your ball roll and you might be even faster to it or at times when you're 1v1 with the goalie you know when you're really gonna get that ball and you if you ball roll in last minute you fool the goalie it's the same way when it comes to pressure at times so yeah it's a decent way next clip all right let's watch this clip then i'll, then I'll explain it There, I scored it after. It was nice. All right, so here, the reason I did the bar roll just right here in general, right off the bat, is just to wait. Like I want to see if you got, I forgot any reactions from him, so I did it, and he kind of didn't really get any reactions. Honestly, he kind of just went like this, and he kind of went like that. So I kind of just pushed away because I wasn't really like sure. So I pushed away, and when he, I saw the little pressure he did, so that's why I got him right there. When I pushed away. He thought I was actually gonna fully turn. And I knew that. So I just cut him off like last minute. That was a quick thing you had to do. Boom, right there. And right here, bar roll again, just to see if I got any reactions. And you know, I'm just bar rolling away and just left sticking my way through. And I guess he like panicked or something. But like, this guy was tough all game. And then I broke him down on this one, but he was pretty tough all game, man. Good player. I think the next clip the next clip was a really solid player too but yeah guys i'm gonna play the clip and then i'll explain after see if you can catch what i'm talking about what i'm gonna talk about Oof. it was a foul by the way didn't really look like it though but anyway let's talk about this so it was mainly to set up again with a bar roll and there's other moves that this um you can combine with left stick let's say uh you can do, I don't even know what you call it. No, nah, never mind. I don't know what to call it, but just any skill move in general, guys. If you get a left stick in, try to do it as a setup, or if they're one on one with you, like last minute, try borrow or try the spin. Spin always works. Right here, set them up. That borrow was just to set them up. I already knew I was gonna go into that space. Right there, I was just, I was just like, I just read them. It was just too good to be true. He thought I was gonna go inside, you know? Right here. I even did the fake, but went that way. And right here, I didn't wanna do that part of a like speed touch. I honestly wanted a little bit softer because I knew if I did a softer, this barrel, I would have got him and I would have been straight to goal. But it was a little bit too hard. I think I might have pressed it too much. But yeah, that's what messed me up a little bit. But yeah, and also Fonso Davis is a speed man. He's pure speed. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that example. That's how you can use bar rolls to see if I got any more. Guys, so for this clip, I honestly thought I was playing with Kappa. And I was over here making him feel like he was pretty decent. I actually had the ball with Linglet. <laughs> right here, Linglet. I was here doing bar rolls, bro. Doing some left stick. Right here, boom. And I went for the shot and I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, that should have went in. I was like, what, Kappa? Cap Kappa, whatever. And it wasn't even him, bro. I was like, Linglet. <laughs> But yeah, again, the barrel and the left stick combination works well. Right there, barreled, go into the space. You got yeah, uh, yeah, left stick there, and then a uh, barrel here. When it took, when I took the little right turn right there, I always do that because I know it. They can buy it, and they can either run for that direction, and boom, I'm through. And there you go. But the, I'm pretty sure if it wasn't any other player, it probably would have went in. You know how OP those shots are, which. I hate, by the way. I don't want it to be that OP in those little angles, but whatever. But, yeah. Boom. Left stick. Boom, boom. But didn't get the way I wanted, so. Yeah, bro. Lay, bro. He's playing like R9. <laughs> All right. Last and final clip. I don't think I got the goal here, but I tried a lot of uh, bar rolls and turning, turning on him to see what I could do with it, and... Here we go. Didn't get the long shot. Got the ball messy here. Ball roll away. Ball roll away again. Left stick. Left stick again. Honestly, I think I overpowered it, but that was decent effort, man. I should have gone in, in my opinion. I just named it wrong. But yeah, what I did here, let's talk about it. So I had the ball here. Did a ball roll right there. Another bar roll because I saw him coming in. Bar roll away, by the way. And I just took his position right there. Boom. 
But look at Maradona's stamina. I'm pretty sure if I had better stamina, I probably would have been through. It's just that stamina matters also, guys. Like, if he's tired, he's... These guys are already making a comeback after getting fooled right there, by the way. Like, like what? Like, let me check. Let me check that out again. Like, okay. You know, he's already speeding up like crazy. But yeah, took the shot. Gave the ball to Messi right here. Bar all the way right here. Left stick, bar all the way, left stick. Right there, I'm just pure left stick and then just miss a shot. But yeah, hopefully you get... um how to do some skills with a left stick the borrow works well and there's a lot there's plenty more you can do any skill with a left stick honestly it's all about just predicting his movement right and choosing the right skill move for the right time though that's very like, very hard to explain because there's different situations every single game at times you know it's you, you gotta just memorize every skill move and how they work for your scenarios and you can combine left stick well. It just it takes a lot of practice. But yeah, guys. I think that'll be it for the highlights. Okay, guys. That's the end of the video. Hopefully, you learned something new. And ways you can uh, mix left stick with skill moves. It's always good to start with one skill move at a time. Or whatever skill move you know best, try to mix that one first. And little by little, you'll get a lot like better at it. And you'll just, you'll just be able to mix everything together. But... Yeah, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this and catch y'all later.